Welcome back to the second episode of the Building a Smart Home Cheaply series. Today we're going to actually start putting together our system. The software that's going to be tying together all of our components is something called Home Assistant. It's open source, which means that anybody can view the source code, the code base of the application, how it's been created, and anybody can also contribute to it. So one of the cool things about Home Assistant is the amount of integrations that it supports. At the time of creating this video, it supports 1,621 integrations, which is far more than any other smart home platform out there. So yeah, that means it supports more than the $80 Samsung SmartThings Hub that your neighbors just bought and it's free. In order to use this software, we need a computer that can be running 24 seven so that it's ready to launch the automations we've created at any moment and it's always listening to the devices to know how to respond accordingly. So in order to begin, we'll need a personal computer and then a computer that can run 24 seven. Now you might be saying one of two things. I don't have a computer that can run 24 seven or secondly, I don't want to run a computer 24 seven because it's a waste of power. That's why there's something called the Raspberry Pi. Wait, Raspberry Pi? Like something you'd get from the grocery store? No, not the type of pie that you get from the grocery store. And as some of you might already know, a Raspberry Pi is this palm sized tiny computer and it's about the size of a credit card. You plug it into the wall and it can run 24 seven with very little power consumption. Long story short, it's a computer and it fits in the size of your palm. Let's not overcomplicate it. Now, if you do have a computer that runs 24 seven, it just has to be able to run Windows, Mac OS, or Linux. And having said Mac OS, Windows, or Linux, that's pretty much all of the operating systems out there that we're using, so you're probably covered. Back to the Raspberry Pi, if you were curious, it's only $35 typically, and you can get it on Amazon. And I went ahead and did you the favor of finding a good deal. Just go to the Amazon link in the description to check it out. In fact, I actually do have a Raspberry Pi, so let me go grab it and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, here it is. It looks kind of nifty, looks kind of fancy, and the cool thing is that mine might look this way, but this is just a case, just like you would get for your phone. And so I chose one that I thought looked kind of cool with the fake wood paneling, and the like layered plastic. But you can go to a local store and you can buy a case like this, which is still in the packaging. Uh, so it's kind of hard to see, let me pull it out. So something like this was only like $9 and it encompasses the computer. Oftentimes when you order a Raspberry Pi on its own, it's just a flat board and then you wanna typically wrap it in a casing of some sort, which I think is fun, super easy to do, very intuitive and you can add a little bit of personality to your product. As you can see, it has an ethernet port, it has USB ports, it has HDMI out, audio out, and it's powered by micro USB. So one thing you might notice when you go to the Amazon link is that it doesn't use a hard drive, it uses micro SD. So it's just this tiny little card that you'll often find in cameras. You just plug it in right here, and then that's the storage for the computer. That's where the operating system is stored and all the files are. So if at some point you wanna repurpose this and you want a bigger, more dedicated computer for your home automations, you can do a lot of things with the Raspberry Pi. Check out the link in the description for some project ideas. Again, it's just a small computer. So for some of you who might be a little bit intimidated by seeing this or all this information, I promise you I'm gonna walk you through this. So feel confident in getting started because this is gonna be a fun project. Okay, I feel like that's enough information for this video. So essentially all you need is one personal computer and a dedicated 24 seven computer. That being said, let's go ahead and head on to the next video. And if it's not out yet, go ahead and subscribe and you'll be notified of when it comes out. Also, you might wanna subscribe anyways, just to see other related content. See you in the next one.